how do you vaccinate your pets? It's easy, right? You take them down to the vets and a couple of quick injections later, it's all done. Your fluffy friends are healthy and protected if a bit upset with you. Vaccinating other animals isn't quite so straightforward. As I'm sure we're all aware right now, many viruses that harm people can come from wildlife. Vaccinating wildlife is, in theory, the ideal way to combat these viruses before they ever get to us. Although this sounds simple, vaccinating wildlife is really difficult for two main reasons. Number one, extremely large numbers. And number two, remote, hard to get to locations. Trying to vaccinate these populations as you would your pets by direct injection one at a time would be both unreasonably expensive and time consuming, not to mention dangerous since the wildlife might be infected with the very disease that we're trying to fight. The model system that I'm working with is rabies virus in vampire bat populations. This system poses some additional challenges in that bats only drink blood, so can't be vaccinated using food baits, which have been successful in controlling rabies in foxes and other animals. So how do you go about vaccinating thousands of wild vampire bats? The method that I'm investigating is the use of transmissible vaccines. A transmissible vaccine consists of a harmless virus, a vaccine vector, shown here in blue, which can successfully replicate in the target host, vampire bats. A protein from the pathogen that the immune system will recognize, rabies virus glycoprotein, for example, is genetically inserted, creating a recombinant viral vaccine. This vaccine can be injected into a small number of captured bats, which, when released, will fly on home and infect their friends and family with the vaccine via their saliva. Any bats infected with our transmissible vaccine should become immune to rabies virus. With the bats vaccinating each other, the effort that humans have to put in is massively reduced. There are many, many steps in trying to create such a vaccine. I am trying to find the perfect candidate for the vaccine vector as there are several requirements which it needs to meet in order to fulfill its vaccinating potential. Using virus genome sequence data alone, I found a herpes virus unique to vampire bats, which so far seems to meet the criteria, including how well it transmits between bats and being species specific, so there's no risk of it spreading into humans. Whilst my work focuses on vampire bats, hopefully the methods I've used to identify and evaluate the candidate viral vector Will allow similar viruses to be found in other species and allow other animals to vaccinate themselves.